several principles to talk about here. The most obvious one when you're doing is that you're leaving your first finger tight all of the time. So just throw your and let the back of the hand go loose. Okay. So let, let me throw in a couple of other things. So what makes our hands tight, put your hand up there, is when we're tight across the bridge here. When all of these, when there's a tightness right through here, that, and you don't have a release of it, that causes fatigue. So watch my hand once. Okay, when you throw four, right, yeah. this should be like, these fingers should go to spaghetti. Okay. Right? Okay. So, uh, so uh, just try that. Right, so now that should get squishy. <laughs> right, yeah. So sometimes this doesn't mean releasing, because in fact that might cause its own tension. So just watch, you can do something like. Just shifting the whole weight. Yeah, yeah. like one of Starker's phrases was the finger should be in playing position, but not in playing tension. Okay. So you don't have to right, do anything so. extreme. Right. Now you're starting to do something, maybe because you've been watching me, but you're doing something. The next thing I want to is I want you to consciously think that your finger begins from back here. Right. So that we're not playing, we're not just lifting our fingers from here, mm -hmm. right? But that each finger, see how my forearm is rotating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That gives the finger tremendous strength. I heard Leon Fleischer giving a piano master class, and he had, was having all the pianists play from back here, because mm -hmm. what he said is the same for the cello. He says, when you play from back here, every finger has equal strength. If you're just trying to play your little finger like this, right? right. right? Okay. So throw it from back here, right? Now just go slowly. Right, so lift the fourth finger. You're sort of doing it. Lift the fourth finger by rolling your forearm backwards. Right, let me see if I... I'm exaggerating a little bit so that you can see it. And once you hit, then you try to... Good point. That's the next thing I was gonna say. So there's always a sense of hit and release. Yeah. Hit and go limp. So, so I often hear people talking about making their fingers strong. See? I actually think it's, it's not necessary to think that if you're playing the, some, for some people it is, but, maybe, but not if you're playing the cello a couple of hours a day. If you're playing the cello two, three, four hours a day like most serious people are, your hands are gonna be strong enough. So what you wanna do is you wanna think about loosening them, not tightening them, right? right? Yeah. right?